everybody. My name is Sherry. Welcome to my stamp studio. So who of you ever has a plan and you feel like your plan's going pretty good and then all of a sudden, that's kind of how I feel this morning. So tonight I have um, gone out with my girlfriends, which all of our plans right now are, although I felt like mine was going pretty good yesterday. Um, we are going to take a class. You know, if you're crafty, you kind of like all the crafts. Um, this one's my job, and it is my favorite craft, but tonight we're going to go to a class on how to press flowers, and it's on the other side of town, like not as far away as it could be for me, but pretty far, but I also need to shop for shoes, um, and I have to get shoes because I have no shoes that go with my dress for the wedding next weekend. Not this coming weekend, but next weekend. So I have to have shoes. Um, and normally shoe shopping is one of my favorite things, but now I'm kind of under the gun and they have to be a length because I opted not to get my dress altered. <laughs> so if for it not to drag on the ground at the outside wedding, I have to have shoes. So a little bit. So I'm going to um, film this, but I thought I was kind of caught up with my filming. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair done. So I have these things that happen in the daytime. Um, but I was kind of caught up. So I do need to get, those of you that are in Card Club, I do have the card ready. Um, I was, I'm toying with just showing you a card and not having the video, but I did think that maybe before I go off to get my hair done, I could film that. But this morning I got up, I have a bunch of cards ready to post, like I'm good for the weekend and early into next week. Um, and I checked the inventory status report that we have, the bow punch, so many of you are waiting for the bow punch to come back in. It's getting closer. I'll have that in my email. The next email that goes out will probably go with this one. Oh, of course it would happen to me. There's one thing in this mini catalog that is now on back order. And of course it, it goes with the Oh Holy Night Suite, which is the one class. It had to happen to that because I have that and then my card club. The only two things that have to come in, right? Um, so the Oh Holy Night Suite has uh, we can make it work so don't worry because a bunch of uh, i have so many people of you, uh, that have already signed up for my class um so i'm going to show you the oh holy night suite i will i can't i don't have time to take care of all of it now um so i'm going to kind of talk you through it um how i'm going to handle it it is the um folder and the star dies that are on back order. They are on back order till October 2nd. So not a terribly long time since the catalog doesn't even go live till the 6th. It will give you plenty of time to still get your things done, but we, we do need to get the class going. Um, so I'm gonna work it this way, that if you take the class, obviously it's free if you purchase the entire suite, which you will no longer be able to do because the suite number will be turned off since part of it's gone. Um, I will cut your stars and I can't stamp things for you because we're not allowed to, but I can do die cuts. I was um, hoping that because my September is so incredibly busy that this class was gonna be a little bit easier, but I will at least I cut the stars. It will mean that I won't allow as many people to sign up that otherwise might have. So I'm going to um, have a look at it and kind of turn off registration earlier. So all of that will be in the email and then I'll put it on the class page. So I just kind of want to do, I haven't even finished my coffee. It, it kind of sent my morning into a tailspin because I thought I was kind of good for this holiday weekend in the space of the next nine days my husband takes his citizenship test we have our end of summer pool party um i'm hosting a shower with my daughter which this morning i sent the giant list over um of all of the things that are my part all of the things i have to go to the store for the shower and for my pool party um we have the citizenship test i have to get all the stuff set for the wedding i'm doing the decorations for the wedding we have the wedding we have the rehearsal party all of that and i have to find my shoes <laughs> And I'm going to learn how to press fall hours. So then, of course, this thing had to go into back order. And we launched the new catalog. I love catalog launch days, but it's stuck right in the middle of all of these things. So, yeah. <laughs> so, the mini catalog does go live, and I'm looking forward to it on September 6th. On September 6th, I can show you the inside of the catalog. And we'll go back over um, all of the things that I've done as we kind of walk through that. So with the Old Holy Night Suite, there is still a free option uh, on that day when I, it'll be later on the 6th because the way that it works with our links until the links are actually live, I can't post them on the thing because 
it doesn't like internet things it doesn't work these are two of the cards that i have so to get the free class you'll want to do it sooner rather than later because since that thing is already on back order it leads me to believe that other pieces of this may also go those of you that are in card club i will get the links up before the weekend or like sometime over the weekend um in between hosting the showers and shoes and hair and all of that stuff um and i'm going to put the order in for sets I'll order all of the paper and stuff for Card Club on the 6th to ensure that we get all of that stuff nice and early on the 6th. Um, but if you want to do the free version of the class, then you'll want to, to do the other versions. You need to have the stuff. Um, I will send you anything that it will take to make the cards um, that's not included in the suite. But to make it, you'll need the stamps, you'll need the dies. I will cut the stars if we use the folder. I will send that through for you since I have it. But you'll need the ribbon, you will need the designer series paper, you'll need the stamps if you want to com um, complete the projects. So you can go watch these two. These would be two things that you could create once you have the stuff. And then you'll be able to create um, today's project as well. So here's the two stamp sets. This is the one that um, you'll need these stamps, but it will have the stamps and dies, I mean the dies and folder that are in back order. You can order them as soon as they come in in October. So those are the um parts of it then there's a whole set of design there's two things of designer series paper so for today's card I'm going to use um, bits of both so I'm gonna use I've already cut it out so I'm gonna use the bedazzling paper so in the class if I use bedazzling paper not in the suite so you would get that and then I ran it through with a little nativity so I've already done that so we don't have to do it on camera and then I'm gonna use vellum so in the class if we use vellum I would send you that but then this is part of the suite, so you would cut that down. I'll give you the measurements if we use it. And then I am going to add these um, as part of, I wasn't going to originally, but since um, the stamps, I mean, that since that folder's not, these are called the brushed gold cards and envelopes. The entire suite was real close to $150. So it puts you close to having a your own workshop. So get your own workshop so you get this stuff for free. So this is the base and we'll do a couple with that. And then the reason I like these is because it gives you, I think there are, there's 20, which probably means there's 10 cards. Uh, maybe not, maybe there's, sometimes these confuse me. Does that mean there's 10 and 10 or does that mean there's 20? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So there's 20. So if you like this card, you could quickly do um, 20 of your cards and be finished. You would have to either get two packs of the um, this paper or alternate because there's plenty of blue in this. So we're gonna use this for our card. So let's go ahead before I forget and we will stamp the inside of the card because I added it. Um, and I had to stamp with the inside in. So I love these because they're beautiful. You could also use them for wedding cards, for shower cards, you know, because I have that all on the brain. We have three weddings, one of, one of which is my daughter's coming up. So lots of weddings, lots of showers, lots of all of the bridal things. So this um, saying is from Stars at Night, which is one of the two. It's the one that did, will not have. And something could always change. Um, you know, there could be some Christmas miracle and this stuff could come in. This says, wishing you the best and bright, brightest holiday season. And I have that in Night of Navy. And then there's a ton of different stars in the set. I'm going to do it in Wild Wheat because once it's dry, when I stamp it now, it's going to look a little bit green. But then I'll be able to show you in a minute. And on my other one, I had to put it here because like I said, I forgot to stamp the inside until after I had mounted this stuff on the front. Yeah, stamp it over here. When it dries, it looks gold. I know right now it looks it has a green tinge to it. That's just the way that color is. Sometimes I stamp the envelope, and you could put a little star down here. I would probably do it in the blue to kind of tie the card together, but these envelopes are beautiful, so it, I'm not going to do that. So that's that. Now let's take this. This is a piece of vellum and I cut it so it's a little bit smaller. I like to be able to see the designer series paper around the edges. And 
I didn't put any scrap paper here, but my table has, you know, my husband cut the grooves in it years ago, which seemed like a good design aesthetic at the time, but all it does is um, trap all of my little scraps of paper in it. But I like to use it to line that up. Then this is from The Night Divine. And it's a giant block of words. It's got the scripture from Isaiah on it. So I'm just going to stamp it in the Versamark. I think probably 90% of my Christmas cards always get embossed because it just is a beautiful thing to do on your Christmas card. So then I, I made sure when I stamped my, mounted my block on there, that it was straight. And now I can line that block up on there straight against the lines on my table. So they don't just collect <laughs> the scraps of paper. I have a little um, vacuum cleaner. I've just been so busy. Yesterday I did film like four or five videos so I'd be caught up and I thought I was good. I didn't get to the club and then I also did maybe four projects for Triad class. I think I have two left. So I thought I, w I was so proud of myself yesterday and then this morning I got up and started to get ready to go shoe shopping and made the mistake of checking the, we call it the ISR, inventory sheet. Look, I have a little piece of scrap of something in there. I'm gonna use the gold embossing powder. So then I thought I better get this. I don't know that I'll send it out before I go, but at least when I get home later tonight, it'll be ready. So get this on here, make sure that any place where you I have touched your paper. So you'll notice it's a little bit to this side, but that's easy. It's straight on there, and now I can just take my paper trimmer in a second, and I'll just trim this so it's straight. So let's heat set this. Make sure that you kind of tilt it everywhere and make sure everything melted otherwise you'll lose part of a letter sometimes on some of the designs it doesn't matter if a little bit falls off or if you've got color underneath but on something like this it would matter so see how i mean that it's just off to the side a little bit so i'm just going to grab my tiny little paper trimmer and i'll stick this in here and just even this up better. This is, somebody asks me every time, but you can't buy this anymore. That was a gift when you signed up to be a demonstrator, or if you were a demonstrator, then they let us purchase it. So I'm going to put this on here, and I'm going to put this all the way at the bottom because I want a tiny bit of this really fun paper to peek through. up here because I'm going to add some ribbon at the top and I want it to have movement so all the way to the top of this and then the ribbon you'll get a whole spool of ribbon when you get your suite um, so we'll use this ribbon because it matches all of the paper and the class will be cards and um, a couple of decorations because you know it's Christmas so you'll be able to keep them for your house or give them as gifts. There may be something that you'll have to order from Amazon or, you know, I'll, I'll give you links or tell you which, you know, I may get something at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. If it's something that can be shipped, then I may include it. I haven't got that far yet. <laughs> I got to get through my um, next week before I start and try it. Before I get on that. So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive right here. This isn't that pretty ribbon. So 
just stick that there. Just make sure you have just enough to fold over the edge. There's stars that come in this as the embellishment. I didn't think this needed it. There wasn't really any place to put it. There's stars on the paper. This ribbon has the glitter in it. I just thought it was good on its own. Originally, I thought I would stick one under the ribbon, um, and I got them out, but it, it, I, th I think it's beautiful without it. This needs to be a little bit flatter. I love seal that we can move it. I still haven't caught up from um, the lack of sleep from our Vegas trip either, from the Stampin' Up! Leadership event. I'm getting there. You know, the older you get, all of a sudden I, may, I was afraid that I didn't put this on the side that, you know, when you pre-stamp the inside of your cards and sometimes you do this and then you've got them on the wrong upside down. But I got it. But the, the day we left, I got up at three-ish, like at the three o'clock hour in the morning. And then the day that we left, we got up at the three o'clock hour in the morning. And then because we were three hours difference from every time, like Stampin' Up! had a welcome party that started at 11 p.m. our time. You know, when you get to a certain age, you don't go to parties at 11 p.m. at night. So we were only just starting to adjust to the time and then it was time to come back. That happens, doesn't it? Isn't that pretty? Let me see if this one's a little bit more. Cool. They're all gonna be the same, which I love when you're mass producing Christmas cards. If you're gonna do 20 of this, eventually you're gonna run it in this pack of paper. There's maybe four designs um, in vanilla and white. So, I mean, vanilla and blue. So you would eventually, the blues would all have different gold on the back, but they'd all work. Um, but otherwise they'd all be the same. Uh, well, it's on that side. See, it, it turns more gold. Beautiful. And then here's your envelope. So if you're interested in taking the class, there's a couple of different ways. The free way where you buy all of your stuff. There is a pay way um, where you'll still need the stuff. So if you're a demonstrator and you want to buy your own things, um, the free way you have to buy this stuff from me and then the class is free. Um, you'll still get the stuff that's not included in the suite. So if we use the vellum or we would use the Speed Dazzled, you'll get a kit mailed to you. It just won't include the stuff that's in the suite. So if you want to buy your own things or you think you can piece it together from stuff you've had in the past, you won't have the ribbon, you won't have the designer series paper. You need that and you'll need the stamps and the dies except for the stars. Um, but there is a paid way. There's also just the videos, especially if you live overseas because I can't send you that stuff. Then you also can take it free if you are on my team because my team gets all of my videos to all of my classes for free. Um, so there's all of those different ways that you can participate. And I have a class page on my website so you can go check that out all the time. It always has all of them. Um, and then Card Club. I know I told you that Card Club would be up by now. Um, I didn't... I didn't I didn't anticipate that the jet lag from backstage would get me quite the way it did. And I didn't, um, uh, well, the, yeah, that's just honest. I didn't know. And then I did have um, wedding stuff that I had to do when I got home. And it just took me days. So card club's coming. And I will have the links up even if I don't have your video. I will have a photo of your project though. Everybody have a great day. And I hope your um, week doesn't go <laughs> like mine did. Bye.